Hey everybody, it's MC from Not Just Scrapbooks, and this is day 17 of the Marion Smith Challenge. 31 days, 31 videos, 31 goals. And I thought I'd share some of the organization that I have in my craft room, because I do... Well, I'm a hoarder, <laughs> so uh, when it comes to crafts, I do a f number of crafts, and I kind of tend to never give up anything, so... Um, I use these ribbon organizers amongst others and at one point I decided I wanted them to be black and I started painting them so you can get them black you can paint the plastic but it was too much of a pain <laughs> so I never finished it and then a long while back Tim Holtz used to sell these boxes and I love them so my alcohol inks are in one and I have some of the distress inks and stuff in the other and in this one I have some some of my stickles my distress nickels are in here and uh, yeah and uh, my favorites are these whoops I guess this fell down is this box and one of the ways that I did my um, distress inks is I'm one of these people that likes to see colors, not just names. So one of the things I did is I used uh, paper. Um, they were labels, and I cut them. You know, like the labels for uh, mailing stuff. Um, and I cut them up, and then I used the distressing inside to create the colors on the outside, and then I wrote the name on top of the color. And that works really, really well for me um, because I can always get a really good idea of the color that I need. And I store them upside down and um, they fit quite nicely in there. And I do have a second one that I've started, but I haven't um, put in all the um, different inks in that one yet, or even put the names on them. So, see, those are ones that I haven't opened up yet. And then I've recently gotten into trims, and I like to take them, uh, at least a certain portion of them, with me when I go on a, to a crop. So I put them in this box, and I wound them up on these and that allows me to see exactly what trim I have with me and I have just enough of a variety that I can either ink to change the color or there I've got browns and blacks and greens and blues and teals and pink and off-white and white and anyway you get the idea and uh, all, most of my flowers that are not packaged are in these jars and then from time to time, I find uh, ribbons that I like to put on top. So they're in there, and uh, little ones are together, and the medium ones are together in this one. And then I've got some of the bigger ones in there. And uh, what else can I show you? Ah. This is what I store my Adirondack inks and markers in. And like um, my wall units here, that comes from um, um, Best Craft Organizer. And I really, really like my Best Craft Organizers, especially for my stamps. Because as you can see, they fit very nicely in here. And if there's a plastic, it's because uh, when I move them around sometimes. I put plastic and I haven't taken it all out. And you can also get it with little trays like this. These are all my rollers. But as you can see, you can get quite a few stamps and you can pretty much see them all. And I also use it to store my Distress Reinkers. And my perfect pearls and luminaires and my stickles. 
and I can see every color that I have very easily. And then I have my crackle, distress crackle paint, which I haven't opened them all. And I have my helmet studio cut inks. And yeah, and I have somewhere I've got her. Um, she has a PDF file where she shows you how you can make something like 50 colors out of the one 17 or whatever, 16 or 17 that I have here, which is kind of cool. And then I've got Perfect Pearls and tapes in here, and these are the equivalent, equivalent of Copics. They're the Adirondack ink fillable pen, and uh, you can use Distress ink in there, and it's got a, two different sizes. Here's all my um, embossing powders and all my walnut inks and all my color washes that I hardly ever use and my paints, oil paint and a mix of stuff and some paint brushes and whatnot and I need to put my other ones in there and then uh, you can also, you can put drawers in these or you can put paper trays and so this is where I keep my personal selection of uh, cardstock. And uh, well, that's kind of it for tonight. I will show you more uh, in the next few days. Um, and I hope you have a great evening. And uh, I do have a lot of challenges coming up for me and I do want to, I am thinking of sending out a challenge to everybody um, because I know that it kind of becomes a little bit more difficult to figure out what challenge to do every day and so I thought that I would throw a challenge out there tomorrow and my challenge tomorrow is to challenge everybody out there to do something special um, and I will let you know what that is tomorrow. So hopefully you will join me and um, everybody that enters my challenge will get an extra entry into my YouTube and blog candy giveaways for this month. And as you know or may not know, um, there's a ton of paper craft products or a Cricut cartridge as well as for my YouTube people uh, to celebrate my 100 uh, subscribers, which is I think already up to 150 something. Um, there's a distress at all that I'll be giving away at the end of the month. So that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a great evening, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.